In this video, we'll be taking a look at the question, what are primitives? Primitives in a 3D package refer to basic objects and shapes that are created that you can use as a basis for creating your own models. For example, in the create panel, we're going to click on box and very easily stake out a volume like this. Hitting Alt W to maximize my view. I'm going to take a look at this box. It's very simply done, but this box can turn into any sort of model that you can think of. For example, you can see how easily we can create a sofa by using lots of different boxes and shapes to block out the overall shape. Furthermore, you can use the primitives to create details such as this piping for this cushion quite easily, all based off of the single primitive by using any of the tools in the rich polygonal tool set to achieve your final goal. 3ds Max has a wide arrangement of different types of primitives, all the way from simple shapes such as boxes and spheres, all the way up to the whimsical teapot, which is often used for rendering tests and checking your lighting. Because it has such a unique shape, it gives you a lot more feedback about how your scene is doing. But that's not all. There's quite a few different types of primitives that you can create in Max, from standard primitives to extended primitives. These include the shapes that are a little bit more custom such as an oil tank, which can be turned into a capsule, or perhaps a torus knot, which gives you some pretty complex shapes. From here, you can take these 3D objects and turn them into meshes, which are then editable at a component level, where you can select points on these objects, to change their shapes. For example, once this object is converted, you'll be able to move any of its points around to be able to change its shape. And thus a sculpture is born. In this video, we took a look at what primitives are in 3ds Max and a very general look at how they could be useful for you in your workflow.